Yeah, I know they're not synced right now. Anyways, I just hit start recording. So, what's going on, everybody? It's the Chuckster. Hey, guys. I'm Assassin Jack. And we're bringing you our Pokemon Uranium Soul Link Nuzlocke. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, we're playing Pokemon Uranium. As you can see, even though our screens are definitely not synced. And I'm sorry for that. It's this his is, fault, uh, don't let him tell you otherwise. Yeah, um, this is a fan game, right? Yeah, it's a fan-made game that was quickly taken down by Nintendo after it initially dropped, but now you're still able to find the download through, like, it was off of a Reddit thing we, where we ended up finally downloading it. Which I think it's stupid that it was taken down by Nintendo. It's a fan-made game, it's not even yeah. stealing any ideas from Pokemon. But I'm pretty sure it had to deal with, um... Probably the music, to be honest. Well, music issue... And I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it coincided with another release of a Pokemon game. I think this was around the time Sun and Moon were coming out. Fair enough. So that's probably why, because they did the same thing with, um... ASMR 2. Anyway, we should probably get this thing started. Yeah, so we just go and hit space or A or whatever yeah. button. I shouldn't really be moving my mouse, should I? No, uh, fuck. get it off the screen. Um, <laughs> new game! Alright, so this is a soul link. If you don't know what a soul link is, it's basic Nuzlocke rules. So, this game actually comes equipped with a Nuzlocke mode. So, I think we're going to go ahead and try that out and go ahead and click on in that. Play the game with custom rule sets for increased difficulty. Not recommended for new players. Well, this Proceed is a blind playthrough, basically, because <laughs> I, have, I have, haven't played this game myself, and it's been a while since I've seen anybody try and play it. And I've never seen anyone play it to begin with, and... So yeah, let's go ahead and proceed yeah. anyway. Um, uh, so the only thing that we're actually going to do is probably just the Nuzlocke mode. Which is... Which this says fan of Pokemon are considered dead and can only... And only one can be caught per route, which is the normal Nuzlocke rules. Which we're keeping dupes and shiny calls, so I do not care. Yeah. I mean... Technically, shiny claws we don't really need because I'm pretty sure this game has an increased shiny rate. Yo, I don't care if I find a shiny, I'm catching a shiny. Yeah, you can catch a shiny, but it won't be linked to a pair unless I find a shiny. Oh, yeah. Damn. So we can make that a custom role for us if we each find a shiny, then they can link. Turning off my mouse so I don't accidentally move it again. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And then dupes okay. clause is if you have a species already caught, you don't... It doesn't count as your encounter. You want to just turn on everything? <laughs> Disable healing in battle? Um, yeah, I don't think I want to <laughs> disable that. We're not doing a solo challenge run. So I'm pretty sure we want to heal in battle. Um, Old school poisoning? <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> Disable Pokemarts. Do you want to not be able to buy items? <laughs> oh, God. The old school Gen... This is would be Gen 3 poison. Yeah, Gen 1 through 3 poison. Uh, or no. Challenge mode? No. So I'm I good think... on challenge mode. Screw that. Alright, so I guess we're good on just going start. to uh, start the game, right? Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you want to play with these settings? 
Yes. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, good. My name is Bambo. Bambo. Er, Bamboo. Bambo. Because professors are named after trees, so it's his name is Bamboo. Yeah, my name's Bambo. Uh, er, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for the job, right? Great. Want to slow down on what you'll be doing? Oh, what's the uh, adventure? I need, no, I need no info. If you journey across the region collecting specimens for my research, along the way you'll sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some will be willing to cooperate and some not, but you should try to be friendly with everybody. Why? Well, we don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There are cool. dangers everywhere. <laughs> What if I want to be evil? <laughs> no, this isn't Team Rocket Edition. Oh, why not? <laughs> Whether it be wild creatures or people with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. But keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid. But keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid. And I'm sure you'll pull through just fine. Music. Okay. I just clicked the no controls needed, so go ahead. We, I forget what voice I already gave him already. <laughs> uh, we humans share the world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonished power powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some people are kept as pets. Some Pokemon. Are Some kept people as pets. are kept as pets. <laughs> <laughs> Others help us in help us with work and stuff. Others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Who said I wanted to be a trainer? What if I wanted to be a breeder? But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an element type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Why do they exist? Are there new types that we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I, I'll tell you more about your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow and get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Who are you? I don't know who I am. Um... Okay, I instantly don't like the female character. Normally, I pick females in the game, but I instantly don't like the female character. But I do like the middle character. Okay, if you go, if you do the middle character, I'll do the left character. Because it's like male. You have the male character on the far left, the female character on the far right, and then I'm assuming a gender neutral character in the middle. Yep, I am going with the far left. All right. Why are you on the far left? You want to explain that? No, oh, because I am a mile. Because, I mean, election season is coming up. Is he right here, so if you want to explain why you're on the far left. Start the game, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Yes, I am the mile. I like, I like to know your name. Please tell me. Um, oh, yeah. Name... I can use the keyboard. I forgot about that. My name is Jack. Uh, yeah, I'll put it Jack. That's fine. Chuck. Your name is Jack? Mm, yes. Jack. Jack, are you ready? Yes, I am. Journey. Your story is about too much. You is a blank slate, so you together with your Pokemon are going to kill it. Kill it, there was a challenge of the frills and the bond to make a new discovery. Let's go! Ten years ago. You wanna read? Ten years ago, our family lived in Bell Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. 
their father, Kellyan, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. I like this Gen 2 music. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Dang, they already have nukes. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with their young. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy. <clears throat> A form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright. Until. Zero Reverse. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where, where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? You want to take Cameron? Oh. Mm, yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to restart the thermometer, or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... Oh, you're ahead of me. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now! You have to leave too. No still! With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellyan. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Chuck and Jack were sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. You, know, you don't have to say my name, right? You can just read about how it is. Ten years passed. Auntie's health warned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bamboo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mokitown applied. Chuck and their childhood friend, Theo. Theo! It, it was common <laughs> for use of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Chuck's journey began. What voice did I give Theo and Celeste? <laughs> Chuck, come downstairs! You're late! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, Oh, God, that voice. Okay. Um... Ah, it's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new one. System, a new system soon. That looks more like a, just a normal Wii than a Wii U. Oh, uh, I went downstairs already. Oh, I wanted to check if there was a potion in the PC. Is there? It is! <laughs> yeah! I want my potion, because there's no okay. way I'm losing that first rival battle. 
Okay, um, you got Auntie's voice, so... <laughs> There's a framed embroidery. Home is where the heart is, and there's a heart underneath it. What's on the TV? It's a widescreen TV. I like to watch it while eating dinner. Chuck, sweetie! Your big... Today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old models can do so much more that I could support us both. But we both know you're ready for this. And that young boy, Theo, always following you in your footsteps. That one. Theo. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go Are ahead and open it. I call Name it. the running shoes. Instructions on them to run, hold Z. You toggle auto run in the menu. <laughs> Why you say Z is Z? Oh, oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just being an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now, well, I'm sure he's proud of you too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventures. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will ya? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Oh my god, the running animation. Heck yes. So there's a way to toggle on auto run. I have no clue. I'm just kind of. Yeah. If you go into your menu. On how do I open up the menu? <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, I have it mapped to the circle button, so I don't remember exactly what I'm what I'm. I will to hit do. buttons till I find it. Hit escape. It is a scope. And if you just hit Z. Oh. <laughs> Scope. You can toggle on auto run. Ah! Scope again, okay. Yay! I'm into town already. I just left. Oh, so if I you have- I love this if... music. Oh my god. Sounds so Isn't good. Isn't this new Bark Town? Oh, random citizen. Is this new Bark Town or is this Pallet Town music? I don't know, but apparently X is to open my thing when I use the X to talk to people. Okay. Oh, I have Tinder Rare Candy. Oh my god. What? what? Was it this guy? That person right there. Yeah. This guy? Yeah. Oh, you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. <laughs> oh, nice. Talking to random people help, I guess. Yeah. I'm oh, going kids, to... if you want free candy, talk to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Finally headed out on an adventure, eh? You take after your old man that way. Okay, I want to find the Pokemon uh, lab. My husband's long been an admirer of your father's, you know. Town is so huge! This the lab. That's Route 3 ahead. Route 3 is scary, I don't like Route 3. <laughs> So you're gonna be a big breadwinner, huh? I should pop oh by and visit God. your auntie now and again. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing? You entered a cutscene. Boring. You entered this a cutscene. This isn't a cutscene. You entered something that's important. That's Theo, and. No, oh, it's not Theo. It's his father. Yeah. Yep. You, you could have talked I to Theo's it. father. Don't worry. <laughs> Cause I had to go to the lab, so don't worry about it. I don't know where the lab. Is. Oh my god! It looks so cute. Oh, I, I, I'm. Okay. Hey, wait up. This is Theo. Yeah, Theo. Um. What voice should I give him? Or do you want to do his voice? No, you can. You can do Theo. Um, just give him a more watered-down version of what you gave his dad. 
Where do you think you're going? No, that's... Yeah, that's... Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab for me? So you okay. can get a better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Well, you're giving him a... A mask, a more masculine and confident voice. I don't think that's what he will uh, have, but <laughs> because I'm gonna get the strongest one. Okay, that's First. actually better. <laughs> Try to keep up, Jack. Okay, that yeah, was actually kind of better. I like. I think this is the lab. Yeah. I'm going in. I'm infiltrating. Hey, this is Jack and, uh, your friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. Right, right. Theo. Just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as my field, field research assistant at Bamboo's Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on element Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here who will aid you on your journey. Before you get starters, though, you both will take the Pokemon Trainer's Aptitude Test. Oh yeah, I forgot I about this. For any, I didn't study for any test. I thought we were just- we were going to give us a rare po powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not that kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you need. Different starters are di better suited for different battle styles. A starter Pokemon will be your longtime partner. So it's important for you to work well, together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about who watch the test before we... Oh my god. <laughs> if you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now. Jack, are you ready to take this trainer's attitude test? Okay, so I'm ready. if... So, if I remember correctly, the answers are actually going to be color-coded. Red for fire, green for grass, blue for water. And okay. if you just, if you answer honestly with what you get, it's, he'll give you whatever starter you pick with the most color of. So, if you just want to pick your specific starter that way, you just pick whatever answer is that color. Sweet. I'm ready. So, Let's were you go. were you going grass then? Yes, I am going with the grass starter. Alright, I'm gonna go fire. Yes. Excellent. So, without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what's your first reaction? Attack it right away. Very good. Oh, I already answered. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say what you pick. <laughs> Ah, very good, both of you. Come on, that was an easy one. Come on, that was easy. <laughs> Give me a, a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam. I like protect. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? I score. Um, actually, I want to break down this question real quick. Okay. Um, Gyarados does beat Glyscore. Glyscore beats Ampharos. Ampharos beats Gyarados. So who technically would win an all-out battle? Um, Ampharos. Ampharos doesn't get access to any Ice type moves. It can't really touch Glyscore. Gyarados gets access to Earthquake. So, I'm pretty sure Gyarados is faster, so if you train a it's Gyarados... It's going to take Glyscore. Glyscore has Levitate. Yeah, but Gyarados has access to, like, Ice Fang. 
and it's also super effective because of waterfall. Okay, let's not worry about this. Let's just get done with this. So technically, the correct answer is Gyarados. Actually, no. Yes. Anyway, is it possible? Is it, <laughs> is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question. So answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a trainer? Becoming the very best, like no one ever was. Exploring the region! No question about it. I'm gonna be the Pokemon- I'm gonna be a Pokemon master. Ain't nobody gonna stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer altitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I oh. finished my analysis. Jack. Shock. You seem to be a trainer who likes to play it safe. You seem Patient to be- Patient endures is your biggest assess. You know the best thing in life comes to those who wait. For a defensive trainer like you, Ortonix is your best pick. Chuck, you seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. They say the best defense is a good offense is probably your m m ow. motor. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Rap Torch is the best pick. Jack. Oh, I gotta move back right now. Jack, Kane, or Fort Nix. Okay, I think now's a good time to mention that normally in Nuzlocke, you're supposed to nickname all your Pokemon to grow a stronger bond with it, essentially. But I think for like the new, the Fakemon of this game, we don't nickname them. That way we can actually oh, uh get their actual names. I'll be laughing since we picked Nuzlocke rules, but not, we have to nickname them. Okay, nope. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Jack got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the whole bad part. We're doing two voices at once right here. I'm done analyzing research for you. Hmm. Oh god, we have to go through his screen too. Yeah. This is certain. No, I forget what voice. Oh god, god damn it! I just did his voice. Well, with a certain known, what you want out of your life, out of life, be impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desire. Well, I sense something else. Could be the seed of greatness, potential, or transform yourself. To you transform yourself completely. Is he a ditto? Or maybe it's. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, other top, the best pick. Yes, my first Pokemon. Jack, you have a Pokemon and I have a Pokemon too. You know what that means, right? We have to battle. Oh, oh please, not in the lab. Help, we're battling. Let's get it on, Mr. Pio. All this music stick. Right, Pio. Like you. Yo, I love Alexa Touch. It looks so cool. What were Boy. The... What do I have? Scratch, growl, I have weak to start out with, so let's go. Wait, you start out with Leech Seed? Yeah, I start out with Leech Seed. Is that your only Grass-type move, or did you actually Yes, start... it is. Okay. 
Oh, I'm fire ground type. You're fire ground. Wait, what am I? I think you grass steel. Yo, that's sick. You're double weak to fire, though. I don't care. That's sick. And the other guy's water electric. Well, yeah, I can kind of tell that from his name, Electric Cox. I'm Jolly Nature, which is plus special attack. You know, plus B minus special attack, which is actually, I want to say good, since I'm ground type. Of course you have static. Did you check what your ability was? No, I did not. I but mean, apparently not... Electric Cox has static. Oh, so it's not Torrent, so I didn't even check my ability. I want to see what my ability is. Oh, I'm Flame Body. Summary. Um, I'm a lonely nature. And I have battle armor. It protects me against critical hits? Hell yeah. yes. Uh, I'll just go Ember. Come You're faster than me now, and I'm paralyzed. It's not fun. <laughs> Um, I just O-code. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy- a fire type move. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this music while you finish your battle. Well, you already have a fire- My first move was Leap Seed, okay? <laughs> it's dead. I gained 75 experience. You get like 71. What? But I I was supposed to win. But but how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I I oh, ah, please please don't please don't cry, Theo. Here I'll hit your Pokemon for you. Um, what happened? Pretty red. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Oh, she is. Um, technical difficulties. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Um, we had uh, a little technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. My controller got unplugged, so it popped up on our Discord screen share. So I had to deal with that. And then because I was clicked out of the game, I went to press my button. My controller was actually mapped to my computer, so my the A button essentially is mapped to the same buttons that will hit the record button when I'm not clicked into the game, when I'm clicked into my Streamlabs. So it kind of bounced oh. back and forth there. So everything also until that should be fine. It was just some text dialogue that we missed. It'll be fine. Also, the Stingus realized that we can't do a Soul Link with normal Nuzlocke rules, because we have to actually be able to find Pokemon that we can capture. And because not... Soul Link rules say uh, the Pokemon have to be different genders and different species. No yeah. No same Besides primary first starters. typing. The starters, starters you don't starters, have starters. any um, choice against. Yeah. Any starters and gift Pokemon you don't have a uh, choice against, but... Because we're not really doing a randomizer, so, we really can't use gift Pokemon in this game. Same with the legendaries, we'll, we wouldn't be able to use them. So, we're just going to replay this up until this point, but set it to normal. That way we can actually do this and just say it's, a Nuz say it's our Nuzlocke that way, instead of doing it this way, because... It won't work. Soul Links and Nuzlocke are completely different. So... <laughs> fun! Alright. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll be back. And hopefully we won't have any more technical difficulties. Yep, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.
Hopefully we got it all out in episode one. Goodbye. Yep.